home after hanging out with friends Thursday night. State troopers are still trying to find out who hit him. That family desperately seeking closure. I can't even wrap my head around it right now. It's like I'm in a dream. You know, took away my only son. One of the best kids I ever knew. A Detroit family is grieving after 21-year-old Lindell Reed Jr. died from injuries sustained in a hit and run. By him being a new driver, I even made him go get a CDL so he could be a professional driver. But it seems like that didn't, that didn't, that didn't help. It all happened on I-94 near Harper a little after midnight Friday. According to Michigan State Police, the at-fault driver struck Reed's car and then sped off leaving Reed's vehicle stalled out in the middle of the freeway, where state troopers say a second vehicle struck him after he stepped out of his car to survey the damage. After he got hit by that car, I know he was scared and confused and didn't know what to do. And once he saw that oncoming traffic coming, he just hopped back in and probably just closed his eyes. The car hit him, injected him. Reed was rushed to a local hospital in critical condition, but was pronounced dead hours later. The kid was, was a good kid, man. He stayed, he stayed to himself. He didn't bother nobody. He was a working kid, graduated with honors, had a future ahead of him. A future Lindell's parents were helping him secure. They were preparing him to buy his first home. I just always try to like install good morals into him. We were just working on his credit report so he could grow up to be a good citizen and provide for whatever family he was going to have. For him to be taken from us so soon is a tragedy. State troopers say the at-fault driver is still on the streets and they don't have a description of the vehicle in question. So I'm just wishing that the first driver open up your heart, open up your heart and just, just, just do what's right. Do what's right by the most high. And, and I'm quite sure I, I forgive you because I know you probably was scared whatever situation you was in. Not just ask that you just come forward so we can have closure. And that cannot be too much for a grieving mother to ask anyone with information about that crash on I-94 in Harper. Please call state police at 734-287-5000. In Detroit, I'm Randy Wembley and this is The Edge.